so let's get into the British pound versus the USD let's go to the monthly chart first down near the 1.05 that was all-time lows that was in September of last year uh, England was going through their own financial COVID energy issues they had uh, I guess Boris Johnson at the time exited Parliament they had some new folks come in um, implement their own spin on their policies and when they announced what they planned on doing well what was going to be implemented was going to affect the uh, the bond market and the pension funds in England and um, it would have been a, a declining um, ramification cycle and so as a result the uh, price of the British pound collapsed against um, the USD now it sharply reversed because eventually uh, that new member of the, of the parliament resigned <laughs> um, and for good reason right because England was on the verge of literally collapsing alright so that's just a quick uh, backstory of why prices declined so much and since then it's been on a tear which somewhat coincides with the uh, collapse and or pullback and or reversal of the uh, US dollar so let's get into the the charts I'm gonna take this off <clears throat> just another, another history point uh, back in uh, June of uh, 2016 this week here was uh, when uh, England citizens were voting on the Brexit, uh, Brexit was uh, England potentially or eventually leaving uh, the European Union, and um, they left. When it was full officially announced, um, the British pound collapsed. Because then that would it collapsed because that was going to affect um, trade policies with. Uh, all the other countries in the the Union. Okay, so you can say um, that's the low, um, that's the high. This down leg. <clears throat> you could say we have a down leg, and this could be just a pullback, right? now on the weekly chart you're gonna see that the trend is up but this could be just a pullback before the next leg down right uh, this 1.0000 that's what we call parity um, will we see that on the British pound USD not sure so I do want to mark this area here just so we can look at it a bit more on the weekly chart okay so, so like I said on the weekly chart we're on a downtrend this could be a pullback to resume the next leg down don't know right I like this area, right? It, it's let me see, it did hit. Uh, we'll look at that on the on the daily chart. So this level is serving as support right now, right? It hit once. Maybe it's going to hit again. Maybe penetrate the zone a bit more. Bounce, maybe. Don't know. <clears throat> on the upside I'm going 
going to we're going to look at that on the daily chart. So as you can see, we kind of have pricing prices range bound. You have potential support on the downside, resistance on the top side, but we need to analyze the the structure a bit more on the daily chart. So I'm not in love with the structure, not in love with the structure, but obviously this level is holding. So uh, daily buyers, 1.1, say 8, 0, 0. And top side. Daily sellers, 1.26. So, so at the very least, <clears throat> what I would anticipate once price comes to the to the zone is we're at least going to get a reaction where we get a pullback. pull back if it comes down to the 118 level. Uh, let's go down to the 4 hour chart. So the best thing to do in my opinion on the British Pound USD is just to kind of play the extremes. All right? If you play anything in the middle you're going to get chopped up. Uh, let's just go down to the 4 hour chart just to see what the price action looks like. Yeah, so this was a nice rise in price, right? If you draw zone across you will see that it did cause price to react all right it's reacting now to that level Anticipate if and when price comes up to the one point two three one. I anticipate price reacting to this level as well. One point two three uh, one zero zero. And this level is still good until it's not 1.9. So I mentioned it's a matter of playing the extremes. Case in point, price exited the range and reacted. All right, how far does it? go up, pull back, what have you. Not sure yet. A lot of it's going to depend on uh, economic data coming out of England and the U.S., which is going to determine the next move for the uh, British pound. But if I zoom back out to the daily, um, I like these levels, the daily levels, for um, potential swing trade. 
to next time.